Uh, <coughs> so that's a scavenger, it, the idea is very simple. Um, so so LVM passes are more or less independent, right? So after rest location, uh, we do have some things that need to be finalized, such as uh, uh, spill code location, where we previously we have a kind of a, a abstract representation frame index zero, let's say. So how does that translate into the actual instruction? Well, it's going to be some uh, stack pointer plus some offset. Let's say the offset is huge. It doesn't fit in the instruction offset. Then all of a sudden we have to materialize this offset in a register. But the resolution is already done. So you need this register scavenger say, go find me a register I can, I can use uh, at, at, this local, at, at this point. So it's going to use the, uh, the lighting information and use a local propagation uh, information to propagate the state of register and say, aha, this register is available and it's uh, already, it's, it's color safe or it's quality safe or it's already been spilled in the prologue, go ahead and use that. If not, it's going to say, ah, uh, I need to do something really, really bad. I need an emergency spill slot, which is very close to this, uh, the, the stack pointer. Now I can kind of pull a register out of magic and make it available to you. So uh, that does require some target uh, support for it. Uh, it. It's not at a state yet where it's very transparent. So, uh, but but that's the idea. Okay. So what happens if you didn't have these paths before these paths? Uh, previously, for example, uh, you have to reserve a register in case of emergency, which is very very bad because the register is kind of. Few and far train and costly for some of the targets we really deeply care about. So, okay. Okay. Um, future. Um, LVN is is governed kind of loosely. Uh, we, we we don't have a set kind of uh, priority at any given time point in time. We don't have a we don't have a. a, a kind of a, a fixed schedule where a certain feature has to happen at, at any point in time for any release. So the feature uh, is all about, about your involvement on the LV and what your requirements are and how you drive them. Now. So uh, the most important thing here is, from our standpoint of view especially, you know, this is Apple Pace my picture, I would like to see uh, continual refinement of current passes. Uh, and as well as a lot of performance and compile time improvement. Uh, compile time improvement is something I want to point out is because of unique kind of characteristic of LVN, especially in the code generator. LVN has, is being used as a JIT in, in, in for Apple products and for any, many other things. And, and compile time all of a sudden becomes part of your runtime. So, so it's very critical um, to, to, to keep that in mind when you do any kind of work especially on the code generator, because you can absorb some of the compile time cost uh, if you compile things into a bytecode. So that part of the time may not matter to you too much in a J environment, but code generator is always, the compile time is always going to be there. It's very important. Um, and another thing is, there are a bunch of questions. Yes. Do you have any numbers? So can you compare your compile time versus GCC? Um, I, I don't have numbers here. Um, I, I think uh, we, we did some experience, experiments early on. Yeah, we, we keep most of the compile time or performance? Or, uh, I don't think we've actually measured compile time recently. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, yeah we, we haven't really done a measurement. We, uh, we, we do keep track of our own compile time regression. So if, if there's any kind of significant compile time regression, uh, somebody will yell at me or whatever it does. The bad thing. Um, why would you ever do a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, but I think at O0 back then, when you look at it, the compile time is comparable to SSC, right? And I expect that to be the case. Yeah, but we did some compile time comparisons at O0 in a year and a half ago or something like right. that. And at that point, it was basically comparable, and we've done a bunch of speed up. And well, that's, that, that's before I start hacking. Okay, that's that's a good point. That's before I've been in mind and actually, you know, generate decent code. Uh, <laughs> so, but uh, 
So at Edo zero and the JIT can also be configured so it doesn't run all the aggressive passes and things like that, of course. Um, also, uh, there are many trade-offs we can make. Do you have this at dash zero? Uh, we do. We do any optimization code zero? Probably some very minimum ones. Yeah, I, I think we just do some simple like cleanup stuff. So if you are not doing anything and GC is not doing anything, so <laughs> so why are you fast with no one? <laughs> so there's also a lot more that we can do in the code generator to improve things. I think I'm going to talk about that later. Which both numbers could call the end. So there's a corollary question. So all the comparisons here are being made to GCC. There's a lot of other compilers out there, like if there are ones from Redmond. Mm -hmm. So how does the code quality compilation and all that compare to Visual C++? Okay, well, so so we compare against GCC primarily because GCC is the official compiler used at Apple. Sure. Um, so on x86, we compare very favorably to GCC at this current point. On the Mac platform. On the Mac platform, which is, uh, we haven't actually done any direct comparison to Visual C++, uh, but GCC has. So related to that, you can kind of get a, a sense of where we are. Uh, so, so there are cases Visual C++ probably do better than GCC, and ICC probably in some cases do better than GCC still. Um, if you so have access to Visual Studio and you want to run some benchmarks, yeah. that would be yes, very, 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 very useful. useful. So it's very useful. Comparing against, in some ways, the least common denominator is not really all that. Well, GCC does perform quite well on x86. It's, it's, sure. it, it's not a bad performer in terms of code quality. Um, it's just because it's so widely used in x86, it is a pretty critical platform. So it's not a bad benchmark. Um, uh, and it is a conversion quality compiler. Um, you know, we, we're probably not all the way there in terms of what we can do. Um, so we, we have our sites set very high one day we like to charge ICC, for example. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, talking about maturity, by the way, you know, versus, you know, there, there's a lot of things we can do. And, and nobody's claiming we're done yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I was just talking about yeah, the comparison. No, so you're absolutely right. right. I mean, we, yeah. I mean, it's I mean, a very useful thing. It, you know, it's, it's mostly something that requires time. And to do proper yeah. benchmark and comparison, you first have to gather, you know, these are the kinds of things we care about, and we do a proper comparison. You know, then it's the different platforms, you know. And ideally, you're comparing against a bunch of different compilers. Right. Are there any folks who do instrumented um, code generation and optimization? Like uh, instrumentation, for example, uh, something like GCC can do for like Tprop, that kind of stuff. I'm not familiar what Hotspot does. Um, I don't think we have the. Well, I'm not sure. Uh, Tprop. So we have, we have Gprof stuff is pretty simple. Yeah, yeah so we have, we have a mechanism to insert profile information, basically right. like Gprof. And um, we have LVM prop, which dumps it out like the GPROF command like tool. Um, but we don't have, we've not connected that up back to the JIT. Mm -hmm. And so effectively what Hotspot does is it instruments your code, you run the code, it produces yeah. counters, and your counters can then be fed back into the optimizers, right? And so we haven't actually hooked that up to the JIT, but the JIT can run the instrument code, it produces counters, and you know, you basically need a driver that sets the policy and you want to regenerate the code. We have all pieces, nobody's actually put together because it had, at least that I know, because it's not important to them. But all, all the components are there, so it's just good. One more question on the refined existing passes. What do you mean by refine? What, what ideas do you have in there? Um, make them better. Um, again, I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. a simple, it's kind of a compound kind of answer, but, but that's the truth. Right. Um, the, 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 the idea I'm trying to convey is instead of a jumping to Aha, uh -huh, I think this is the total rewrite this pass is going to be to this box. Uh, it, it's very important. A, a lot of the tricks of uh, writing a really good code generator, a lot of times it's just attention to details. So run as many programs you can find. Find the cases where we do badly or do poor you know, against the comparison. And find out what's wrong and see what we can do about them, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, rather than, uh, you know, so this 